Winter project time, workshop Wednesday. First of all, knocked up the rolling rack a few weeks ago with a bandsaw, a couple of cupboards for coolant, oil, blades. That's my jig for, um, you sit that over there for when you're doing repetitive cutting, you can clamp that and um, get everything correct so that you don't have to measure it 10,000 times. Set that one up outside with a cutaway unit so you can lower heavy lengths down with the forks and then slide it up to cut. And um, then it was the ultimate set of hay fork time. Once that was completed. So this has been a bit of a, an ongoing project and that probably needs clamping somewhere there to stop it. But, um, yeah, I've gone for a bigger set of forks, five prongs, um, for the added extra weight when I do feel like lifting more than three bales. Yet to weigh them, so I don't know how heavy the bloody things are, but they are, will be extraordinarily heavy. So, what makes these forks so different? Potentially easier to show you in a second, but anyway, um, we've just finished setting the hydraulics up today. Again, that was a bit of a nightmare. Setting it all in there. I had that one correct. They were going to line up perfectly for a clamp. But then it was that tight having two of these fittings that I had to go back to using the one 90 degree fixed 90 degree one there because it was hitting on the tubby and wouldn't let the pin lock work but anyway the whole purpose of this is for loading trucks um, And there's a great backstory to this one. So first of all, what I wanted out of a set of forks was a side shift. So the ability to side shift. So now, full foot, pretty damn close to a foot of side shift in either direction. And then, after um, some consternation as to how with one third function set of hydraulics on the front of the Teletubby that I was going to be able to um, run two rams separately. Uh, day one I grabbed a dirty great valve block with a handle on it so you'd have to get out and manually swap them over. There was virtually no room in there to do that, to mount the thing. So, another bit of a investigation and there is a twin auxiliary wire on the front of the boom that is inactive. 
actually I think I'm led to believe it has 10 volts constant but you can't turn it off so it's effectively next to useless so a little bit of investigating and ringing around and um, we were able to ascertain that if you get the dealer to plug the laptop in and program the twin auxiliary front to work that it does and um, now with the simple press of a button extendable back so I can lift four bales without having them tip back onto the loader because it's always risky if you're lifting three and you've only got the thing that it um, braces three that the top one doesn't topple down the boom and smash your windscreen and the press of a button and we are back to side shift Christ, you've got no idea how happy I am that that actually worked. Particularly impressed with the side shift. I was a little bit worried that that was not going to work because it's uh, everything is rather a tight fit. I use that solid 4140 high tensile or tool steel virtually. Um, use that hollow bar to make the bushes, which I had to machine out to around about that size. That was a dodgy one, so I made another one. And um, Plate them, welded to the JCB brackets, lugs, obviously. Cut out there for it all to slide through. Uh, that 4140 is extremely heavy. So I've made it so that um, you can unbolt that and it just, well, from either end and you can slide that out if you have ever had to. Um, I'd be hoping that you didn't have to but uh, that's just bracing top and bottom bracing to help carry the weight of the when you've got the three bales on there so, or four bales just to stop anything from bending in the middle or doing anything since all of that is obviously free it's not attached to anything there So uh, very happy that it all works, especially the top part as well because I was a bit concerned because when I welded the plate in for the ram it uh, warped as it loves to do when you apply heat. So they had bowed in. So that is another reason for those spaces plus they act as a bit of a, a guide in there when you're all the way up rather than just a complete open area.
So there we have it, the ultimate set of hay forks.